Hey everyone, today I've got a battery to review and this is the 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour Life PO4 battery. And this is one of the lower cost models out there which is really intriguing to me and I wanted to talk about this. Compare it to my Renergy battery that I already have which is about double the price of this and talk about what you might expect from some of the lower cost models. Now this one right here, before we get into this, I want to explain a little bit because it can be uh, sort of confusing. This model right here on their website, they have three different models that basically look identical. They've got the $250 model, which is the one you're going to see quite a few reviews on. And then they've got this model right here, which is the one I'm reviewing today. This one has the, the built-in Bluetooth and the LCD screen. This LCD screen is way different than the model that you'll see a lot of video reviews on. That model just has the monitor up here, which is basically tells you what the battery voltage is. On Life PO4 batteries, that is not very accurate at all. This is built into the BMS, so this tells you the actual state of charge. And this model also has, and I believe all of theirs do, have the JBD BMSs, which are fairly good. So uh, that is a uh, on the plus side with all of this. Now with this, you've also got the Bluetooth. You've got a QR code up here that you can scan, and it will give you access to the app, which basically tells you all the same information here, a little bit more detailed. Uh, as you can see here, this will tell you what current's currently flowing. This also tells you that on, on the top here. It'll tell you how many watts are going in or out. Uh, what I like about this as well is it tells you the information on the four different cells in the battery, which is pretty cool. So you can see if they're all even. Uh, a lot of people don't really understand or care about that, but I think that's, that's pretty cool as far as what this tells you. Uh, you've also got the history and it will just give you some information on, but it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty cool little app. Again, it tells you a lot of the same information you might get from the top here, but you don't have to go look at your battery to figure it out, so that's kind of cool. So just keep in mind, when you're watching reviews on these batteries, make sure you're watching the reviews on the, the one that's got the Bluetooth and the, the really good smart battery monitor right here. Uh, a lot of them you're going to see is just this basic model right here, which has got this LCD screen, but it's just the state of the battery. So first off, let's talk a little bit about how it was packed for shipping because it was absolutely fantastic. It was hard to get the battery out of the casing. It was cased super tight in really, in, in really good foam. I don't know that it was the high density that's in the inside of this battery, but it was stronger than normal foam. Packed in really tight, fit the box, and you know, with shipping, these shipping companies, you never know what's gonna happen, so I was impressed with how, how good the quality was that this was packed in the box. Very, very nice. And once I got this out, I wanted to do some testing, and I thought about opening this up, because you can just take these things off right here uh, and pop the top off and check it out. I've watched a few videos of some people doing this. I've got a couple of the really good ones linked in the description below. Uh, but they've taken this apart and looked at it and it's the the older models like I was talking about. If you watch some of the videos on the uh, the lower cost model, not necessarily the older model, it's not packed all that well inside. They don't use high density foam for some reason or they didn't at the time of those videos. Maybe they have fixed that, I don't know. But I did notice watching a couple videos that this one is packed with that super high density foam, the black foam that should be, uh, that these should be packed in here with. So that was a positive. That was something I was concerned about in the beginning, but now that I see that they're packed like that, I'm completely happy with that. And like I said, it's got a JD, JDB BMS, so it's a, a good battery. Now with any battery, any Life PO4 battery, you, I can get my, I've had this for a few weeks and I've done quite a bit of testing and I'm going to do a little bit here today too, but you can only learn so much from having it for a few weeks or a few months. You've really got to 
the the quality is in how many years and how many cycles it's going to last and there's really no way to tell until a few years down the line and that is the big difference i think between a battery that costs this much and like a battleborn that will cost you a thousand dollars so uh, this has held up really well in the few weeks that I've had it, but like I said, if something happens in a year from now after using this, I will definitely be doing another video and letting everyone know what the problems, if any, there are. So comparing this, this price point to like more expensive models is sort of an apples and oranges type thing, but I do have my Renergy 100 amp hour battery, and there are some things that I really like about this more than I like about that Renergy. And again, the cells inside and, it, and what grade they are, grade A or grade B, that all plays a huge factor as well. But there are things I like about this battery and the first one is this monitor up on top here. Because with the Renergy, you can get access to all this information, but you have to put a shunt in uh, and then it will read that information. Or you plug in their little monitor and like I have on my DIY setup, I've got it mounted on the top where it gives me some of that information. It gives me the current, uh, it doesn't give me the temperature, and it gives me the state of charge straight from the BMS. So the same information, but you need an external part. This is all built in, so that is absolutely fantastic. And along with this, the app that comes along with it is great because like I said, you can buy I think it's $100, $150, I can't remember what it is, but you can buy that external battery monitor, that shunt for the Renergy, and it comes with an app, but this is all right here, all included, and it's about half the cost of that Renergy battery. So honestly, I'm sort of on the fence on you know what I would choose in the future. Now, a cool thing about this battery, this smart battery right here, you, don't, you can put these in ser parallel or series. You don't necessarily have to get all smart batteries to do this. You could get a couple of their lower cost models, hook it up in series with this, and it will still it, it will all be a smart system because of this one battery is. So it will give you a reading on the whole system, which is pretty cool. Before we get into testing stuff, I wanted to talk a little bit about these these models that are in the $300 price range compared to some of the more expensive ones. The Renergies are about $600 and then you've got Battleborns which are closer to a thousand. Like I said, the main this is the main part of your setup, whether you're doing a DIY setup like I did, whether you're incorporating this into your home electricity, or whether just for emergency preparedness purposes, you're taking this battery with an inverter right here, and that's that's gonna be your whole setup. This is going to be the main cost of everything that you spend. So the quality of the battery really matters when it comes to this. Now, this is just my opinion, but how good a quality of battery that you get and how much you spend on that, I think depends on what you plan, how much you plan on using it. If you plan on getting four or five of these, putting them series or however you want to configure that, and incorporating that into your home and you're going to be using it on a daily basis, you'll want to go for something that's going to be more reliable. If you are, if you did like a DIY solar setup like mine, that is going to be for an emergency preparedness type situation, maybe it doesn't need to be that super expensive model, but you do want something that is reliable. Something like this that you're not going to use very often, you do want it for emergency preparedness, but you're not gonna use it very often. You're just gonna basically keep it trickle charging, and when the power goes out, that's when you're gonna use it. I think one of these is absolutely fine for a situation like that, where it's gonna be used periodically, but it's not going to be used every day. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna keep testing this out, keep using this, and then we'll see how it is a year or so from now as far as the capacity and all the other things, all the measurements that I've gotten when this is brand new and I'll compare them to uh, a couple years down the line. But the main point is, it's not necessarily a bad idea to go with these lower cost batteries. Uh, just kind of know what you're in for. You don't necessarily need to spend $4,000 on a battery bank setup if it's something that is going to sit there and wait to be used. You can spend $1,000 and get three or four of these and be set up perfectly 
uh, in a situation where you need that emergency power. So I've used this quite a bit in the last few weeks and I've, I've drained it completely uh, from 100%. I charged it up first and then I drained it completely. The shunt that I have, I set it at 105 amp hours uh, and it drained all the way down and it told me that the capacity of this was 105 amp hours. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't know how accurate that shunt was during these tests. A couple of the videos I've watched, it says that they've, they've gotten about 102 amp hours out of this battery, which is probably more accurate than what I got. Now, either way, 102 amp hours or 105 amp hours, it's still above the rated capacity, which is good. So it's not like I was getting 97 amp hours or 98 hours. I got above the rated capacity, which is pretty good. Again, in a couple years, I'll be testing that and we'll see if I get the same type of number. And when you purchase this, it doesn't come with an instruction manual in the box, but they do have one you can download on the website. And it is fairly basic information that you would get with every Life PO4 battery. If you know nothing about them, it's going to be really good information. If you've had a few of these, it's just going to be the same stuff that you already know. These are rated for 4,000 life cycles. They don't tell you what the BMS protections are. From a few videos that I've watched, it's got high cutoff, it's got low temperature cutoff, it's got high voltage cutoff. Although a couple that I've watched, and I don't know if it's the case with this battery, but the low temperature cutoff is set too low. Uh, so if that is a, a situation that you are concerned about, uh, you might want to think about that. But for me, this is going to live inside. That is not a huge issue for me. May take it out camping, but I will never be camping in a 20 degree, minus 20 degree weather situation. Uh, so that is not a major consideration to me. The high temperature cutoff would be, and I've seen that that works accurate as well. But like I said, there's nothing stated as far as what all of the BMS protections are. Now I've tried this with a, a few different appliances and this I've, I've got this hot plate right here I just wanted to show you real quick because then I can show you how this monitor up here works. But if we turn on, let me move over here, if we turn on this inverter and once this comes under load it gets a little bit loud. Not the, not the greatest inverter but I bought this just for testing purposes so it's not a huge deal. But uh, I turn on this hot plate and this should run about uh, it says it's about 1,200 watts, but I've, it's, it's usually only about 1,000. So we will turn this on. And you can see that already gets a little bit loud right there. But it is running absolutely fine. And then if we look on top of the battery here, you can see the current is 93 amps. So that's about, about 1,100 watts. Uh, 92.5 so between a thousand and eleven hundred watts this is pulling and it's doing just fine right now and then like I said on the app you can see here that it's telling us we're pulling 1184 uh, as far as watts we're pulling 91.8 uh, on the amps and it tells you uh, sort of an estimated time you got I can run this for one hour until the battery is completely drained and I'm at 95% right now. So um, some pretty cool information if you've got this running and you don't want to have to go down and check the battery you can just pop open the app. So I'm gonna turn this off now so you can hear me but uh, it it runs everything everything that is supposed to run it runs. So like I said I'm gonna continue doing some testing I'm gonna continue using this as my main battery and we're gonna see how well it stands up over the course of time. But really, just kind of a cool battery. I, I, for the price point, uh, as long as this stands up for a few years, I think it's absolutely fantastic for the price point that you're getting this at. Like I said, though, if you are, if it is something that you plan on using quite a bit on a daily basis, maybe think about something that is more expensive. Maybe think about some of those battle boards. But if this is a, an emergency preparedness type item and something that is going to be put on a trickle charger just to keep it topped off and put in a room or, or connected to the solar panels like I have my DIY setup connected, I, I think this is a great entry level product. Something that you can 
something that if you are just starting out with this and you don't want to spend four thousand dollars on a setup that you're not real sure how you know the wiring and all the different things this is a perfect option to sort of jump in and then see what you think about this and then sort of work your way up after that so with that everyone if if you've got any thoughts on this if you have one of these go kilowatt batteries uh, let me know leave a comment below I am so far like I said it's only been a month or so but I am so far I'm impressed and I do really like this monitor up on top I like the fact that it's hooked straight into the BMS and it's giving me accurate numbers. I will leave a link in the description below to their website. I will leave links to those videos, a couple of the good videos I watched. Uh, but just remember, you're going to see a bunch of videos on Go Kilowatt Hours or Go KWH. Make sure you're watching the one with this, with the smart battery, not the, uh, the lower cost version. But with that, everyone, take care and prepare, and we will talk to you all later.